All right, our next step is uh, to to drain off the glycerin off the bottom. After this, after we had left this thing set for about an hour, what we want to do now is we want to drain off the glycerin. I know it's hard to see in this lighting and everything like that, but down here is the glycerin. It's a darker color than the oil above it. I mean, you can see it a little bit. Like I said, the lighting is kind of funky in here, so it's hard to see it, but it's there. You can see a darker ring around it. So what we're going to do is we just, they like said, that's why I made this cap on this thing here. It makes it easier for me to uh, just drain the glycerin off. Now, this is my second time. I do this twice. I did it last night after we made the batch, and this is my second time doing it. So you see it, it comes out like tar. It's it's really, really thick. And you'll know when it's out when it's out. So just go ahead and drain this off. Now remember now you wouldn't do this to try and make enough. I mean if you have a little tractor or something you want to make diesel fuel, I guess it'd be alright. But you obviously wouldn't do this for a car or a truck. You'd be there forever. You'll see it starting to run clear. See how see how it just kind of turned right into water? Now we know we're into our into our biodiesel. So that's it. So that's how you drain off the glycerin. And like I said, I do that twice. I'll do it I'll do it once, maybe let it set for 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, and then you'll see it I'll drain it off, and then I'll leave it set overnight to let it uh drain down some more. And by then the oil's cooling down a little bit. Uh, and I could turn the bottle upside down. The first time, what you'll do is you'll see how the bottle is caved in here. It gets worse on the first one because the oil is cooling down and it's sucking the uh, the uh, bottle in. So when I drain my first layer of glycerin off, I'll turn the bottle upright. I'll let it fill up with air again. And then I'll go ahead and close the valve, turn it back over, and let it set. And if, and if I'm doing this thing first in the morning, then I'll just let it set for maybe two hours, maybe three hours. And then I'll come back and drain it off. So it depends on what time I started the batch. So uh, I like to do it twice. Just assures me that I got a clean one. So what I do is I, I just drain all my glycerin off into a gallon jug. Now I've made almost, I don't know, not including the ones that I've ruined, uh, probably a gallon and a half to two gallons of um, biodiesel so far. And, you know, there you see it. I barely got the bottom of this thing covered with the glycerin, and it's extremely thick. And what happens is this will set, and it'll harden up, and you'll actually get some biodiesel that'll come back up to the top from, obviously, when you were draining it, you had your biodiesel come out. And uh, I'll go ahead and collect that and do something with that later on down the road. So this is, you know, again, I can add this to this biodiesel here if I wanted to. So anyway, so that's how you drain it off. Now our next step is to wash it. Now you don't have to wash it. That that's just an option. Uh, a lot of people get freaked out when you tell them you've got to wash it, and when you tell them the way you wash it is with water, it kind of freaks them out. But all you need is hot tap water. The the secret I found is the hotter the water you can get, and I don't mean boiling point. Just get hot tap water, and uh, that's all you need. Just get some hot tap water and crank it up and run it in there. And we're gonna we're gonna learn how to do that next. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up myself a half a gallon jug with some water. This is uh, about a half a liter of um, biodiesel we have in here. And what I'm gonna do is I add about 500 milliliters of water to it and um, wash it and clean it and that's what's going to give us our nice clean biodiesel you'd be surprised on all the junk you get out of it so uh, let me go get set up and i'll turn the video back on and we'll go over washing